Hi guys. I know I'm gonna do it <laughs> just now. I know this is gonna be a messy, messy vlog, but I really want to show you some gems I found in Johannesburg. I found a vintage collector's station, let's call it that, in Bedford View. Bedford View is almost like close to Jemiston, ne? Yes. And the things, friend, the things. Let me tell you, let me even show you. I'm not gonna say anything, let me show you. Hey guys, welcome to my video. First, I will start with this crystal display that was super full, but also the quality of the products. Please look at how they're glistening. Then there was this beautiful kettle that I absolutely loved, the gloss one, but it was reserved, so I couldn't get it. This Japanese kettle I also loved was reserved and I couldn't get it, but definitely on the lookout for those. The variety in the store is astounding and the quality of the products and the condition they are in is equally amazing. This Durilex set of amber plates, cups, side dishes and bowls was in immaculate condition and you know amber has made a comeback. It's been trending I think from 2019 till now and if you are into 70s Peruvian then this is for you. Next I'm showing you this... Um, placement it's beautiful made of solid silver and it's engraved it was so stunning so gorgeous um but there's only one of it so i couldn't purchase that she also has a lot of tea sets lots of names brett robertson um a lot of household names and a lot of collector's items as you can see with this beautiful salt shaker vintage um elizabethan times if i am correct Next is this limited edition Carol Boys set. Um, mint condition, never been used before. Don't ask me where she gets it, just know she's got it. It was reserved so I couldn't purchase it. These vintage saucer sets reminded me of Exo McKenna. If you know, you know. I'm only showing you guys things that appealed to me and caught my eye, like this vase and this crystal etched paperweight with the fairy inside, so stunning. Next, we'll be looking at frames. If you guys have watched my previous homeware videos, you know I am looking to make a fabulous vintage Baroque gallery wall. And so I am shopping for the frames. Guess if you can in the comment section which of these frames I purchased. This is a very interesting one. It's actually a reprint of an original with the artist's signature on the back. He's passed away and he's from England and apparently famous. This is the inspiration for my frames and I fell in love with this particular frame but unfortunately somebody had reserved it so you'll see in the next clip where I walk you through the frames I found and what I chose. So these are the frames I want to get. There's this one, that ornate one, very Exo McKenna and those two are stunning. Um, you'll see what I'm planning to do with this and this beautiful A1 piece. This was definitely the find of the day, a vintage modular pull-out thread holder. It is stunning and solid oak, 
so unique honestly a true testament of the quality of product that this lady sources <laughs> so i had to pause the video to talk you through this piece because you were either going to love it or hate it depending on your style it seems to be a cross between a shelf and a milk stool if you've seen those they are currently the vibe especially for bathrooms and it has these beautiful vintage spindles it's solid and it needs somebody with a lot of love and compassion for vintage pieces and what's great about it is you could stain it any color you want to fit your space personally not my style but i definitely do appreciate the craftsmanship that went into it so we've made it to the very end of the video and i'm just going to walk you through my purchases this is the polaroid album that i got i've already started to fill it up I also got all of these beautiful vintage frames um, specifically for the gallery wall and this is the confirmation I'm sort of thinking of. I also got the large A1 print for the bedroom but it's not a part of this so I didn't show it. Lastly, I got a life-changing product. It's called a laptop desk or a lap desk or a lap pillow. So this device allows me because I don't have a coffee table to work from the couch or from the bed it's comfortable on my lap whether it's enjoying a meal or working in comfort i can use it and when i'm not using it it sits on the couch looking fabulous like a scatter cushion i'll do the couch reveal i promise but for now this is all you get thank you so much for watching and i hope you enjoyed this video as much as i've enjoyed making it i will leave all the details in the description box and please don't forget to do all the good things like subscribe comment yada yada bing bing i will see you guys in the next one